Challenge Rift 210. It is a Crusader this time. Let's click on the Soul Mirror. It reveals everything you need to know. So it's a full Akan set for the Crusader, which kind of means that we should be able to have Akrat's champion up 100% of the time if there's enough cooldown reduction happening. Now, the skills that we're using this week Fist of the Heavens, Heaven's Fury, Iron Skin, Shield Glare, Laws of Valor and Akrat's champion. So what you want to do when you enter the challenge rift and you come across uh, some enemies or an elite pack, Shield Glare actually increases the damage of our Heaven's Fury. And I basically just use Heaven's Fury for this. I don't, I give Fist of the Heavens a back seat for this one. You don't need to use both of them. They're both going to drain your wrath, so be careful with that. Also, want to acti activate Akrat's Champion and keep reactivating that whenever you can. Come across an enemy, you use your Shield Glare, and then you use your Heaven's Fury. To hammer them down watch i'll show you how also you do have laws of valor it doesn't matter if you don't activate that it does give you some extra attack speed i believe so shield glare and then bang use your heaven's fury and kill enemies that way especially when you come across an elite so you want to try and get a shield glare off on them for that extra damage so you can get those juicy purple orbs sooner well in this case they're blue sorry i'm thinking of gr my brain's in gr mode but yeah shield glare Heaven's Fury and keep on moving. As you can see, your Wrath does waste pretty quickly, but inside there, if, with Akrat's Champion active, and if you just choose your moments wisely, keep reactivating your Laws of Valor, when you remember, you should be okay with your Wrath regen, alright? So, it doesn't really matter if you're someone that hasn't played Crusader much. If you forget to activate your Laws of Valor, <clears throat> you're just going to lose some attack speed. It's not the biggest deal. But if you do remember, Akrat's Ac Champion, Laws of Valor, activate both, come across enemies, you want to shield glare them, and also, bang, use your Heaven's Fury. Now, again, if you completely, completely forget to activate Laws of Valor, and if you're someone that can't use too many skills at once, shield glare, you don't have to use either. You can definitely just run on in, keep reactivating Akrat's Champion whenever you possibly can, and just use your heaven's fury if you really want to you can do it that way too but if you want to do this more efficiently then definitely use your laws of valor and definitely want to use shield glare especially when you come across elites this one is a no-brainer akrat's champion because i believe there were stone gauntlets in the can ice cube let's have a look so with stone gauntlets if you keep hitting enemies it reduces it, sorry, if they keep hitting us, it reduces the damage that we take, but also decreases our movement speed by 20% and stacks up to 5 times. So 20 times 5 is 100. Once we get to 100%, we cannot move or attack enemies at all. The only way to counteract it is to make sure Akarat's champion is up. Alright, so make sure you keep reactivating that, and as we keep copying hits, we can keep that stone gauntlet debuff off us by making sure that Akarat's champion's up. Alright, is that um, pretty fair? Is that easy enough to understand i think it is anyway if you don't if, if if there's something that's a little bit confusing it's all good uh, your uncle bannock is going to do a bit of a demo right now let's go on in and do this one together this week good luck everyone with your times as always please let me know what time you, you get you guys get and of course you've also got iron skin for damage reduction here which i forgot to mention outside the challenge rift uh, it's not too important. We're not going to be taking too much damage at all. The most important thing here is time. So time is working against us. We want to try and find elites. That's the way that we save the most time. Easier said than done though. So here we go. Shield glare. Kill those enemies. But again, Iron Skin isn't super, super critical in this one either. The most critical thing is keeping up your Akarat's Champion, seriously. Just to get that Stone Gauntlet buff off you. And then getting enemies out of the way so we can go looking for Elites. Going Elite hunting, baby! So yeah, just don't forget to keep up Akarat's Champion. It's about to tick there. I've reactivated it. And away we go. I leave some like dribs and drabs enemies, like if there's one or two hanging around. I'm not too fussed about killing them. So over here, I activate Iron Skin just before they pop, just for, for some extra damage reduction. But because this level is so annoying, um, you just want to try and keep on moving through here. Getting to this pylon up here, super important. 
because it gives us the conduit. Condi is amazing. And now everything's going to pretty much die around us as we keep on moving forward. Trying to get ahead on time here. And I just discovered something on my practice run before. There's an area where there's two elites hiding. Dirty bastards trying to hide. They don't want to die. Um, it's also another critical critical area we can go to to save some time, which I'll show you. I'll show you all in a moment once we get to that next level. We'll get there. So right now, time's going to be pretty tight, like you can see. <clears throat> I do kill some trash as I keep on moving. The Akrat's champion about to pop, make sure we reactivate that. There's an elite here, shield glare. As you can see, he goes down real quick if you use your shield glare. So up here, you can, we're going to go right, but first, we're going to take a detour up here. There's two elite packs here hiding from us. Look, 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 look. So this is a big time saver. Look at all those juicy blue orbs. Okay. So look how much time we save just by going up there and killing those two elites. It's insane. It's insane, people. So if you are struggling, just rewatch this video. I'm telling you. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. The trick is to keep on moving. Keep reactivating Akrat's champion. Only kill trash. Like if there's... You know, I don't know, four or more enemies around. Don't kill that one or two. So I'm just leaving some trash there and just moving. Moving, baby. Moving on up, moving on up. And now we're ahead on time and nicely. Reactivate Akrat's champion. Don't forget that. That's the, that's the most important part. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself stuck in that animation of stone gauntlets. Where you can't move. It sucks. Trust me. And that may happen on your first few runs because you're not used to playing a Crusader. You may not be used to playing with Stone Gauntlets. It's it's fine. It's normal. Don't stress. Just keep um, retrying and just reactivate the challenge rift. See, see that? Move! That stupid little animation. I'm lagged. What the hell? I was going to say, please don't lag out now. I want to complete this and keep on playing either my seasonal journey or PTR. So Rift Guardian, same sort of thing, it's no problem. Heaven's Fury, his ass down. Damage reduction is not an issue for this one. This week, what do we get? 429, that will do. What time did you all get?